Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Pro Tools Help. In today's tutorial, I'm going to talk to you guys and explain to you guys a little bit of, about something called buffer size. Uh, this is important to know because uh, having your buffer size too high could screw up your recording and having it too low could also screw up your uh, recording or mixing. So basically, I'm going to go into my Pro Tools session. Let's say I'm recording something and I keep getting an annoying message popping up saying I need to uh, increase the buffer size or uh, or your computer's not keeping up with whatever you're doing. You guys are going to go into setup, you're going to go to playback, you're going to go over here to where it says H slash W buffer size. Now, I always record at 128 samples or lower, which I highly recommend for you guys, especially if you guys don't have a strong computer, and I always mix at 256 and, and over. You can also mix at 128, uh, but if your session gets really, really big, it's not going to handle it and it's just going to crash. So I suggest you guys uh, higher the sample rate when that happens. Um, 1,024 samples, you don't really need that. Your computer has to be really, really, really uh, fast for that. I normally record at 5 to 12. That's because my computer can handle it. So again, guys, if you guys are having trouble recording or mixing and, and uh, you keep getting an annoying error that says your computer can't handle whatever you're doing, uh, this is where you locate it in your playback engine. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something new. This is very important because my computer always used to shut down when I first started. Uh, if you guys have any more messages, please inbox me and I'll get back to you as soon as I can with some help. I'd love to help you guys out. Uh, thank you and please subscribe.